on Blackrunner.com. Welcome to another drum lesson. This lesson's on quintuplets. And that's what you heard at the beginning was quintuplets. And it's a little different drum phrase than you're used to hearing. We're used to hearing uh, even numbers, such as 16th notes. Or even eighth notes. Sometimes quarter notes. And if we do hear odd number phrases, it's usually in threes or sixes. But what I'm going to introduce to you is quintuplets. Quintuplets are in phrases of five, and you don't hear it very often, but it, it does provide a neat sounding rhythm that can be difficult to figure out for somebody just listening in uh, because they're used to hearing sixteenths, eighths, threes, and sixths. Quintuplets, simply stated, means that you're playing five hits per count or per beat. In a regular measure of four, four time, we have four counts one, two, three, Four. And in between each of those counts with quintuplets, you're going to play five hits. So it's going to sound something like this. One, two, three, four. Now, it can be difficult to count quintuplets because we don't have a, a, a set way. Uh, sixteenth notes, we have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a or eighth notes, one and two and three and four. But quintuplets can be a little more difficult. So what we're going to do is go over a way to count the uh, quintuplets and to get the feel so that you can incorporate it into your beats. Now to start off, it would be very difficult to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If it got a little faster, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can get all caught up. We don't want to do that. Let's only count it in phrases of three. Now, I know you say phrases of three, then two of those would be six. How do you get five? Well, we're going to break it into two parts. Okay, the first five, the second five, but we're only going to count to three. And I'll show you how to do that. Every time you hit your right hand, I'm going to accent it too. It makes a neat little pattern, and it, it'll help it stick out. Every time you hit your right hand for the first set, you're going to count a number. So I'd have one, two, three. Now the second set, and that was five. One, two, three, four, five. The second set is going to be with the left hand. One, two, three. And that's five. One, two, three, four, five. So we have two sets of three, and we just have to put it together because there can't be a pause in the middle of it. One, two, three. One, two, three. You hear that pause? It's not going to work with the pause because the five have to fit into each count evenly. So all we have to do is take out the pause. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Now we have a way to count the quintuplets, but we're not always going to want those accents there. It's not always going to fit. So you'll have to take the accents out, but you can still use that same feel and the same counting to play the quintuplets without the accents. You may use, uh, be used to doing fills that lead on your right hand each time you switch times. For instance, 16th note fills, right hand, then your right hand, right hand, right hand. The quintuplets, because we have the two little sets of three, the first one starts with your right, but your second set starts with your left. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's going to alternate all the way around. So keep that in your mind as you're playing with the metronome. Each count, you're going to be starting with a different hand. It, it helps keeping along with the, the metronome. All right, this is 90 one, beats per minute. Two, three, four. into some uh, more interesting patterns. Let's keep that, those accents and let's do something. Um, we'll start with two toms. Instead of playing the accents, the first set here, I'm going to play the accents on my medium tom. And then I'm going to play my left accents on my high tom. Notice I'm playing the one even worse.
fourth son, one drum. I even make it a little more creative, a little more exciting. With my right hand, I'm going to do my three accents going up the tom. So I'd have one, two, three. In my left hand, I'm just going to keep my accents on the, the high tom. One, two. For a drum beat to have two measures that repeat because if you have one measure repeating it might get a little redundant for the listener but if you throw in something a little different on the second measure and repeat those first second first second it makes it a little interesting so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play that same pattern going up the toms the first time I'll play it the same the second time one two on my third left I'm gonna hit a snare so I'd have one two three one two it a little more interesting and I'm gonna add the bass drum on one two three four and the hi-hat with eighth notes so you have kind of a four against five pattern going Now you can add a lot of things to this other drums you can add basically whatever you want to make the pattern your own and to make it neat I'm gonna try it at 100 beats per minute one two three four And there you have it, quintuplets. Have fun.